Welcome to Bay Sunday, everybody. I'm your host, Frank Malico. We got a terrific show for you today. We got some music, an author, and two nonprofit organizations to be profiled. But first, a little reminder out there to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and pitch us your story ideas via the social network, or you can connect right on our website, cbssf.com. We'd love to hear from you. Our first guest comes from the Take Wings Foundation, their eighth annual Angel Award benefit in San Francisco. That is coming up shortly. The Take Wings Foundation's goal is pretty easy, to help build confidence and self-esteem for Bay Area at-risk teens through community activities and workshops. It's basically a really good mentoring program and it's working very well. Joining us is uh, their executive director, that's Tracy Ward, and we want to thank you so much for, for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Thank now, your you. sister is Terry Vaughn. She's an actress that has uh, done a lot of TV and some movies mm -hmm. and such, and she started this whole program. She did. And now you're a part of it, and you're a social worker, and uh, my guess is you guys, what is your bond? Why, why is this so important? Your link to the community to help and get back. Well, the way that we see it, you know, we grew up here in San Francisco in Hunters Point, and um, we grew up in an at-risk community, and we don't see ourselves as different from the, the girls that we serve. We see ourselves as having to deal with the same issues that they are dealing with now as when we were teenagers, and we feel like it's our responsibility to, to give back, and we feel very connected to them in that way. Now, when you initially uh, started the program, it was more targeted solely at women, at young, yes. young women, and now you've yes. brought in the boys as well. Let's talk about some of the programs and what you do, and uh, I was just looking at etiquette, health awareness, leadership, finance, I Absolutely. mean, you turn these uh, these young people into little adults, basically, don't you? We're working on it, and, and with the boys piece, because we decided to focus on a group of boys that are in foster care, mm -hmm. our focus is really helping to transition them in a, in a healthy way out of the foster care system into adulthood, so a lot of the workshops that we work with the boys on are really about financing, housing, education, anger management, just things that are going to help them be successful in life. And do you find the, the kids are very receptive? Do they, they come willingly or how do, how do they become part of the program, I guess? Usually they are, they are very into the program. They want to be there. They want to do better because our program is completely voluntary. They do get a nudge sometimes from a probation officer or a social worker or their parent. Mm -hmm. And um, but once they're in the program, they they're in, you know, they yeah. really want to be there and they create connections amongst themselves and with all of our we have wonderful volunteers that bond with the kids too. And the one thing I really like what you do, you have each each student or child, kid, huh? they have to do a community project yes. and give back. And it's not just, you know, a couple of weekends. You're talking a good 40 hours here. Yes. What types of things do they do? Well, one of the things that we do, we've volunteered at um, homeless shelters. We work at food banks and the kids package up food. And part of the reason for us implementing the community service projects is that we want them to know that they too have a responsibility to give back to the community and they don't get so focused on what's going wrong in their lives and they see that other people have struggle and they have to give back and serve too. And how many kids are in the program now and how many have I guess graduated and uh, talk about some of the success stories, some of the kids that the alumni that come back that say thank you very much. Absolutely. So we right now we have about 50 girls in the program and it's only about 15 boys in the program mm -hmm. so a total of about 65 kids um, at the gala next weekend uh, we'll be highlighting our seniors we have eight seniors who are graduating from high school and all of them are going on to college so we have girls who always come back they volunteer they talk to the younger girls they share their college experiences with the girls and um, we're very 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 proud of them from, a, from a social worker background it just must do your heart a world of good to see these, you know, these young adults uh, get it, so to speak. Exactly. It keeps me going. I mean, it, it's part of what motivates me in my own life. You know, a lot of times people talk about what we're giving to them. They give so much to us. You know, we, right. we learn their stories and we see them overcome their obstacles. And it really keeps me going in life and keeps me, keeps me from my own pity party. Okay, you know? we're, we're going to throw a photo up here. Introduce us, uh, mom and sister there, huh? Oh, what yeah. a beautiful family. There we go. <laughs> 
Yes, and my mom is also on the board of directors for the foundation, too. And I know quickly you got the big gala coming up. It's on the 13th. Uh, give that a yes. big plug and tell us about that. Yes, so next weekend, August 13th, uh, at the San Francisco Marriott, we will um, have our annual fundraiser. We have Nicole Ari Parker and our husband, Boris Kojo, hosting the event. We also have the wonderful Kelly Price singing for us that nice. night. Um, wonderful entertainment will be provided. Uh, we also honor other people who are doing work in the community. So this year, our honorees are Ed Fitzpatrick and Dr. Warren Strudwick, who both give back to the community in big ways. So we'll be honoring them. And it, the point is just to really raise money for our scholarship program so that we can support our youth who are going yeah. on to college. She brought the notes. She didn't even look at it. That was easy, right? <laughs> All right, Tracy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Best of luck. Good luck with the gala as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And if you'd like some more information on the Take Wings Foundation, log on to TakeWings.org. And once again, it's the 8th Annual Angels Award Benefit. It'll be hosted in San Francisco on August the 13th. We'll be right back with more right here on Bay Sunday. So stay right there.